Boy, it sure is a great day. I can't wait to go to work. Hey Frank, hey Joe. Oh my goodness, it's time for school. I'm gonna become a genius. Why hello Charlie, how are you today? Great, how was yours? How am Charlie? Watch your mouth old man. Are you ready to do some writing? Why yes, yes I am. Alrighty, try to write your name Charlie. Is this right? <laughs> Who are you? Are you Miss Kenyon's boyfriend? No, Charlie. I'm Dr. Strauss. We're going to do an operation on you to improve your intelligence level. If it wasn't for your voluptuous teacher's suggestion, we would have picked Mac over there. So, I'm gonna be a genius? Yes, I just hope it works out. Hello? Yo, 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 what's pumping my dog? Never mind that, cuz we gotta start your game. Yay, I like games. What do you see, cuz? I see ink. Okay, it's not normal, man. Can we play a different game now? Tommy? Let's do a maze against a mouse, Algernon. Boy, I sure hope I can beat this stupid mouse. Actually, cuz, he's smarter than both of us. He already had the surgery that you're gonna have tomorrow. Okay, let's do this amazing thing. Oh, you stupid honey. They better do that search quick. Well, I'm gonna cut open your head and stick my hands in there so I can rearrange your brain pieces, put them in the right places. Is it gonna hurt me? Nah, of course not. It might feel a little strange, but no pain's going to occur. Great. I don't like it when I get hurt, Doc. Hey, Teach. Hello, Charlie. How does your head feel? It feel like it was cut open and mangled. Well, let's read now to get you smarter. What the heck, woman? No, no, no. Don't worry. Your brain's like a sponge now. It will absorb the information better. Oh, okay. Bert told me I should read Fifty Shades of Grey. My God! 
I need to give that little bird a talk about respect. Don't you dare go near that book. I want to read Treasure Island. Oh, great choice. I love that book so much. Hello everyone. How is your morning going? Wow, Charlie. Nice grammar. Why, thank you, Frank. I really learned a lot these past four weeks. We got you fired, Charlie. Get your smart little butt out of here. <laughs> Charlie, open the door, it's Dr. Strass. Okay, hold on. What do you want? Charlie, it is hard to say, but there's a chance that you will die soon. What? I'm going to die? Just maybe. Algernon died this morning, but no one knows what was wrong with him. OMG! I need to see him. I must give him a proper funeral and some flowers. Alrighty, let's go to the lab and figure things out. I will find out what's going on. Bye-bye, buddy. I may see you soon. How? He's dead. I think I'm smarter than you now, Doc. What are you writing, Chuck? I found out the problem. My intelligence grew much more than everything else. My heart can't handle it. What does this mean? I need to find Miss Kinnian. Alice, I love you! Holy crap, Charlie! What are you doing? I'm gonna die without you! Charles, don't say that. I'm just a nasty old lady. No one wants me. No, Alice. I do want you. You're as special to me as your cats are to you. Charlie, I love you too. Let's get married. Yay! I'm gonna get my job back because my smartness is empty. You better. We're going to need a lot of cash for my wedding ring. Woman, your diamond's gonna be plastic. Ben, Ben! I'm going to take everything you own, Mr. Gordon. Everything. You know, I don't care anymore. I'm gonna die anyways. Just promise me. <gasps> One thing. What is it, Dalton? I'll do anything. <laughs> 
get flowers for Algernon and put them on his grave. Goodbye, Alice.